Hello, ladies and gentlemen, loyal imperial citizens and rebel scum alike. Welcome to another Liam Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes today, where we are going to be starting the unlock for General Anakin Skywalker. I'm really excited about this. Now, Gas is, of course, an incredibly important character in the game, um, and I've kind of been been sleeping on his unlock. So basically, last year when I decided to focus on uh, Galactic Legend, decided to get Sith Eternal, um, I basically was making the decision to go for either Gas or uh, Darth Revan or. Um, a Galactic Legend, and I decided to go for a Galactic Legend, so that's why I haven't unlocked either Darth Revan or Gas. So today I'm starting to rectify that. Finally got to a place where I could farm for one of these unlocks, and I went for Gas. So we are going to do it. We're going to officially start the unlock today, and I'm probably going to split this into two um, separate videos. The first video going to look at the two first tiers, then the second video going to look at the third and fourth tiers, the final tier for that unlock there. So let's do it. Let's begin this journey right now. There you go. Pretty awesome. I'm really excited to do this. I've been away from the journey guide for too long. Now, Tier 1 is a fleet battle, um, as you can see here. Always makes me a little nervous because fleet's one of those areas of the game that I know I am not as... Um, I haven't invested in as heavily as I, I could and probably should. I know a lot of other people are in that boat too. So in order to complete this first tier, um, you need... Um, a seven-star Galactic Republic capital ship. Um, minimum power is 40,000 uh, GP. They're recommending 52,000 GP, so I'm in between that. I've got uh, 43,000, so a little on the low side for Mace Windu's Endurance. And then you need Anakin's uh, Starfighter. You need to have that at seven-star, and again, they're recommending 40,000, um, or recommending 52,000, but your minimum is 40,000. I've got it at 73,000 there, so that should be more than powerful enough. And then you can bring in any other assault mode um, of seven-star Galactic Republic um, ships as long as they um, meet the power requirements. So I have three. I think I'm going to have that. That final reinforcement slot is not going to be filled there. So hopefully that's not going to come back to bite me. So, okay, so the Solus one will inflict marked on the weakest other droid ally at the start of each ship's turn. Okay, so that's the same trick that Grievous pulls when you fight him in person. So they're recommending you use taunt effectively to get around the buzz droids. Um, and then you're trying to uh, basically take out those enemies as quickly as possible so you can focus on Grievous. And in this particular battle, Anakin's Delta 7B Starfighter will be replaced by your version of Anakin's ETA. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> that version, the 7B Starfighter, which is the one from Revenge of the Sith, will replace Anakin's ETA 2 Starfighter, which is the regular one that we have in our fleet lineup. So he's going to have a different ship. He's going to have the one from Revenge of the Sith. Okay, well, there we go. I am excited. Um, Anakin and Ahsoka are in good stead. Everyone else is a little on the weak side. Yeah, and as predicted, I do not meet that requirement to have that fourth reinforcement there. So I'm coming with Jedi Consular Plo Koon and then the Umbaran Starfighter there for my third reinforcement. And that fourth spot is open. Uh, 353,000 power. Hopefully this is enough. Let's give it a go and see. Ooh, nice cinematic opening here. Love that. Something's not right, Anakin. It's too easy. Grievous is here. I'm going to press the attack, Master. No, Anakin, wait! Fantastic voice work. I think you'll agree. Okay, so already, so opens right up with Deathmark on that Vulture droid. So that sucks a little bit. Really limited in what we can do there. Um, that is okay, though. We're just going to have to try and take out these droids as quickly as possible. And there's Grievous in the middle there. He's going to be a little tricky to attack. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got locked on. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns. This attack can't be evaded. Um, and you're getting, okay, Valor to a random ally. Um, impeding assault. Deal physical damage to all enemies. Inflict healing immunity and buff immunity on target enemy for two turns. Okay, that is um, pretty powerful. I'd rather kind of do that on Grievous, but we're going to open with that anyway, uh, just to try and spread some damage around. Ouch. So Anakin immediately taking, ooh, okay, boom, immediately taking damage there, but luckily we are doing some damage. So this is going to be tough. It's Grievous in the middle there. He's the one we've actually got to damage, but he's throwing around uh, that death mark every single turn. He's hitting another enemy with that. Got to remind myself now of um, the endurance's options. If you have the, uh, 
wanted to get Taunt up there so I can try and distract away from Anakin. If you have the Negotiator available, definitely use the Negotiator for this. Um, the Endurance would not be my first choice to bring into this battle, but it is my only choice at the moment. Oof, this is going to be tough. We've almost got through the protection on Grievous, but ouch, we are taking damage. Uh, let's call out, um, yeah, let's get some, let's get another tank out here. Maybe we can get a, get someone else taunting. That's, that seems good to me. Oof, okay, boom. Ouch, man, Ahsoka's taking, oh, Ahsoka is in trouble. Don't really have a whole lot of oh, and they dodged perfect. Okay, so this is this is not going that well. Oh, bye bye Ahsoka, boom, another AOE. Okay, nice. So we've gotten through the protection on Grievous, but this is just brutal. Uh, let's just call out Consular. See what we can do here. Um, again, these are not ships I use a lot. Apart from Ahsoka and, and Anakin, I do not use these ships an awful lot. I use them on defense. The AI uses them for me in Grand Arena, but I am not super familiar with my uh, Galactic Republic fleet. Boom. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Look at this. Okay, so only one more. There we go. Okay, okay. Maybe we can do this. Okay, I thought he was going to keep spawning vulture droids, but it looks like he's got a little bit of a delay on that. Oh, he dodged. Fantastic. Uh, come on. Come on. Ooh. We've got this. We've got this. Boom. So we didn't have to destroy Grievous's ship, just delay it. Anakin, I was right. Topoka City is under attack. This was a diversion. I'm on my way. Ha ha ha! You fell right into my trap. Your clone army is doomed. <coughs> Boom. Tier 1 completed. And our first shards, 50 shards in the bag for General Anakin Skywalker. That is pretty awesome. I will take it. Of course, I've got 10, 10 that they gave out maybe two Christmases ago, I think. Pretty awesome. So, Relic 7... Um, that I have. I have my uh, Anakin, my uh, Jedi Knight Anakin at Relic 7. That definitely helped there. I don't know that I would have been able to do it without it with such a weak squad. Um, but we did it. So moving on to Tier 2. Okay, so Tier 2, uh, you need these these specific characters here. So you got to use Padme, uh, General Kenobi, Shakti, um, C-3PO, and Ahsoka Tano, the Padawan version. So they need to be at 7 stars, 17,700 galactic power, but they recommend 24,000 500 so basically 25,000 power there you can see that I've got um, Padme and uh, General Kenobi relics everyone else is sitting on uh, gear 12 and these, these characters are not as powerful as they recommend um, them to be actually for this tier so it's going to be interesting to see how well we perform and whether I need to throw any more gear onto these characters let's take a look and see if they've got any specific uh, hints and tips for us so, so they're actually recommending relic 3 and 22,000 power plus um, with decent mods and zetas as well so they're saying general grievous can't be targeted until both droidicas have been defeated um, while the droidica shields are active they have damage immunity great um, defeat the IG-100 Magna Guards in order to drop the Droidica's shield allowing your squad to damage and defeat them new Magna Guard droids will appear when the Droidica's re-up their shield wow defeating the Droidica's efficiently will be key to taking down Grievous yeah of course because the longer the battle goes on the more health he is going to drain from the other droids and the harder he is going to be to kill okay well I'm not necessarily feeling too confident about this it's possible I have to throw some extra gear on as I said I've got Padme right there. She is sitting at Relic 3. Um, she, I feel pretty confident Padme is actually in a good enough space to get through this. Similarly, I think um, General Kenobi also at Relic 3. I feel relatively confident, although I could have a little more health on him. I think he's a little low, uh, sitting at around, I think, 65,000 health. That's, that's, that is kind of low for this particular um, event and then the rest of them are on gear 12 we're just gonna have to see how we do it I'm really gonna be resting on Padme and Kenobi here so fingers crossed first attempt let's go first and only attempt hopefully so there he is there's Grievous this has been all too easy define easy general ah Kenobi it's too late Tipoka City has fallen 
I beg to differ, Grievous. All right, let's see what we've got here. Boom, okay, so not fast enough off the block to stop those Magna Guards from attacking. So we've got to do, we've got to get rid of those taunts. Thank you, Shakti. So I really love that she kind of clears that on her basic and now Kenobi has his taunt up. It's exactly where we want it to be. So this is tricky because we obviously want to take down uh, the Magna Guards um, and we can use uh, 3PO, I think, to put Confused on them and then they won't be able to taunt. Um, but there are, I mean, that B2 and the B1, they're dealing out a lot of damage here. This could get really, really messy really fast. Oh, oh, that was brutal. That, oh my god, this is Trash Turtles. This is ter rude, rude. Oh no, we have been well and truly defeated. That was very convincing. Uh, obviously not enough gear. I'm gonna throw on some more pieces and try it again. And try it again I did, multiple times, throwing on more gear, honing my strategy, all with exactly the same result until eventually Okay, so we're coming in halfway through this battle here, but I think this is going to be the one. I think this is going to be the one where we do it. I finally have the team um, in a good enough place. I've gotten it down. Boom, we've just got Grievous left. I've been in this place many times before, but I've only had Padme and Shark T left. This is the first time that I've had pretty much the whole team minus 3PO, and I think we're going to do it. After we've done it, I'll go back through and I'll tell you how I did it, what the strategy is, and what I had to do to my team in order to win. Um, train yeah, okay, that's good. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, Ahsoka. Okay, okay, so close, so close. Come on. Boom! I can't believe we've done it, finally. Well, General, it seems like your plan has failed. Ha ha ha, that was just a distraction. I'm sure Dooku's assassin has already completed her objective. Ventress, Anakin, are you there? I'm already on it, Master. Boom, victory. That was a hard one victory. Those are hard one shards, 50 shards in the bag. We're really getting there now. 110 out of the 145 unlock. Woo, that was difficult. Okay, so let's take a look um, at the squad before. So I'm gonna move on to, to part three in the next video. Let's first of all, take a look at the squad. Okay, here we go. So this was the final squad that I used. As you can see, I took Padme, um, General Kenobi, Ahsoka, and Shakti up to Relic 5. Now this turned out to be overkill. Um, am I happy that I've done it? Yes, because these are all characters that actually it's it's worth investing in. It's worth taking them up um, into the Relic. So I'm not unhappy that I did it. However, I will admit I didn't need to do it now. What I was trying to avoid um, was having to swap around mods because I hate uh, remodding. Let's take a look at health here. So yeah, um, I, and I did this with Kenobi's health at this level. So 63,000 health. That's pretty low on the health front there. Um, but we still managed to do it. So I think definitely having him up at Relic 5 helped, but this was the important one here. Yes, I took Ahsoka up to Relic 5, and I'm sure that helped, but the important stat, and this is what I had to move mods around for, was to get her speed up to 260. You really need your speed to be up at 260 minimum, maybe 255, because you want Ahsoka Tano to outrun the Magna Guards at the beginning. She really has to take out those Magna Guards as quickly as possible. Shark T then wants to be um, second uh, fastest character. I've got her at 250 three there so she wants to go just after Ahsoka Tano I think the Magna Guards are going to go in between but those two want to be pretty fast and you'll see why when we actually get to replaying that mission uh, 3PO I ended up not really throwing much more gear on 3PO he is very helpful using confused but I didn't need to take him up to relic at all in order to do this in fact I think I could have completed this at the much lower relics of level three if I'd been willing uh, to play around with mods. So the moral of the story here is it sucks. I really think that the, the method they have in game for switching mods around is a pain. It's really too complicated, far too complicated, I think, and it puts people off, definitely put me off. But ultimately, that was the only way I was able to complete this tier by switching around those mods and getting Ahsoka speed up. Let's go over now and I'll show you what I did. 
Okay, here we go. So about 134,000. That's the team. That's the squad that I just used uh, to complete this tier. Now, yeah, 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 we've got it. Tapioca City's fallen. Where's the Republic going to get its supply of tapioca from now? Um, so we're going to take the speed down. Now, what we want to do first of all, and it's really important that Ahsoka gets that move there, move there first before anyone else gets to go so she can outrun the Magna Guards before they can taunt. Because what we're trying to do, I think I misspoke earlier, what we're trying to do is not take out the Magna Guards first. We're trying to take out B2 first. B2 is key to your kill order. That wants to be the first droid you take out. Now let's see if we can do this here with Padme. There we go. Okay, so close. So close. Come on, Ahsoka. Boom. There we go. And the key to that is Ahsoka moving first, getting that hit on the B2, and slicing through the protection. Now what we want to do is we're going to use 3PO to throw around Confused, and we're going to use Ahsoka and Shakti to remove Taunt from those Magna Guards whenever they taunt. Now you can see we've dropped the shields on the Droidicas, so our next move can be to attack one of those Droidicas. Now, oh, there you go. Unfortunately, before we could do it, they got full turn meter, they managed to charge, and they respawned the Magna Guards, but that's okay. We use Ahsoka to cleanse that taunt right there. He taunts again. That's okay. This guy can't taunt because we've got Confused on him. Perfect. So now we're going to use Shakti. Boom. So Ahsoka did some damage, and she removed the taunt. But now that we've already taken out B2, so he's not there removing all of our buffs, we're now free to focus on taking out these Magna Guards really at our leisure. And basically, we're just, whenever we defeat a Magna Guard, we're switching switching all our attention to the droidicas to take them out as swiftly as possible so we can focus on Grievous. B1, we're going to totally ignore B1. Is he annoying? Yes, and we're going to keep getting those counterattacks from our squad there at various points, but we actually don't mind him being there because Grievous is going to kill him off. He's going to keep pulling health from B1 uh, every time we damage Grievous, health and protection. So he's basically going to kill. He's going to eat through those stacks of B1, so we do not need to attack him at all. So that's your kill order. First of all, you're going for B2, and you need a Sokotano up near uh, 255, 260 on speed so that she outruns the Magna Guards, and your very first hit can be to remove protection from the B2. Then you want to use Shark T and uh, 3PO to remove the taunts from the Magna Guards so you can focus on taking out B2 as quickly as possible. Once you've taken out B2, this really is a cakewalk. It's really very easy. You're going to use 3PO, and that doesn't really matter. Um, now, I should point out that I don't know that we're actually going to do it this time. Um, so although it is easy and it's just a case of waiting for the right moment, so there you go. We've now taken out everyone except for Grievous and B1. I think we are actually about to get defeated on this particular run through. So even at these high levels, and remember these characters are at Relic 5 here, um, you're still going to need a little bit of RNG on your side. Basically, this is the strategy to use, but it might still take multiple attempts, especially if you're doing it at Relic 3 and lower, and people do do it lower all of the time. Again, you're going to want to use Padme to throw protection up whenever you can. Um, you might need to do it a few times. Eventually, you will do it if you follow this simple strategy. Ahsoka Tano speed to 260, focus on B2, then take out the Magna Guards, then take out the Droidica, ignore B1, and let Grievous take him down. That is the path to victory in this event. Well, there you go. Tiers 1 and 2 of the Gas Unlock in the bag. It took me some time. I definitely went overkill on the gear in the end. I just had to give in and move those mods around. I learned a lot. Um, hopefully you did too. Hopefully this was helpful. Do let me know down below. Uh, maybe you're also working towards your gas unlock. Let me know if this was helpful. Any other hints and tips that you have heard of. Maybe you unlocked gas ages ago. Again, he is one of these uh, super important characters. So if you're ahead of me, and you already got gas. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know your hints and tips for tiers three and four, which I'm going to cover in the next video that I do on this, which will be as soon as possible, as soon as I get those droids, those separatist droids up to um, a high enough level. Well, there you go. That is all for me today. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. If you have enjoyed this video, found it informative or entertaining in any way, please consider giving it a like, a thumbs up down below. I really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel. And hey, while you're here, why not consider subscribing to Liam Aiden Gameplay? I drop new gameplay videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force every week. I would love to have you along for the ride. Plus, you're not going to want to miss part two of this unlock where we do actually finally unlock General Anakin Skywalker. Well, that is all for me today. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, look after each other. And remember, the Force will be with you.
always.